The debate over who is the GOAT between Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi has raged for years, arguably making it one of the greatest rivalries the sport has ever seen. Passionate fans and pundits offer their opinions on who rightfully claims this prestigious title. Personally, I'm not a big fan of either, but I think Messi edges Ronaldo out by a bit, he has more Ballon d'Or awards and golden shoes. But at the same time, I don't think that's enough to give him the GOAT status over a man with more Champions League titles and the most goals in history. However, the relatively unimportant nature of Graham Potter's appointment at Brighton in 2019 settled the GOAT debate once and for all. The butterfly effect is a concept from chaos theory that suggests a small change in one part of a system can lead to significant, unpredictable outcomes in another part of the system. In the context of football, minor events, decisions, and actions can significantly have a large and unpredictable impact on the outcome of a match, a season, or even a career. Football is a complex system with many moving parts, including players, coaches, referees, and fans. Even the smallest events, such as a player tripping over a ball or a referee making a bad call, can have a ripple effect that leads to unexpected consequences. For example, a player slipping and missing a pass is not just a random event. It is also the result of a number of factors, such as the player's fatigue, the condition of the pitch, and the pressure of the moment. Picture this, a player's broken boot causes him to slip and miss a penalty kick in a crucial match. The team loses the match and is relegated to a lower division. The player is forced to retire because he is no longer able to compete at the highest level. This example shows how a seemingly minor event, such as a player broken boot can lead to the end of his career. So, it's the year 2019. A struggling Brighton side that barely avoided relegation in the previous season appointed Graham Potter to replace Chris Hewton. Averaging 0.9 goals in the previous season, Potter knew he needed a striker to spearhead that team. So, he went ahead and signed Brentford's number 9, Neil Malpay. Malpay was a regular under Graham Potter and his new system and came up huge in a 2-1 win against Arsenal the following season. However, during that game, disaster struck. 40 minutes into Arsenal's trip to Brighton, Neil Malpay and Leno challenged for a high ball, and the contact between the two caused the German to injure his knee, ruling him out for the season. In the absence of Leno, Emiliano Martinez who has always been a second choice was given a chance between the sticks, and he took it. In the eight remaining matches of the Premier League season, he was excellent, keeping three clean sheets and averaging four saves per game, also playing a big part in his team's FA Cup triumph. His performances didn't go unnoticed. Despite his strong displays, it looked like Martinez would return to the bench the following season, but then Aston Villa came to his rescue, signing him for around £20 million. For the first time in his career, Martinez was now the first choice goalkeeper at a top flight club, and he quickly began to establish himself as one of the Premier League's best. Calls for him to be given his Argentina debut began to grow, and it felt like it would only be a matter of time before they'd be answered. Emiliano Martinez inevitably received his first call up to the Argentina side and replaced Sergio Romero as the first choice stopper. Martinez then performed heroically in the 2021 Copa America semi final shootout against Colombia, as they reached the final. Argentina then beat Brazil, which was Messi's first ever international trophy, cementing the goalkeeper as the nation's undisputed man in goal. Fast forward to the World Cup in Qatar, the 30-year-old kept his side in the tournament with a last-ditch save against Australia in the group stages. Made two crucial saves in the quarter-final against Netherlands during the shootout. Through exceptional teamwork, unwavering belief, and an unyielding determination, Argentina reached the final, where they faced the reigning champions, France. I guess we all know what happened in that game, the score was 3-3 in the last minute of the extra time when something happened, when a crucial moment occurred that had the potential to alter the course of the ripple effect. Mwani found himself in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Emiliano Martinez, unleashing a shot that momentarily stopped the hearts of millions. But remarkably, Martinez made a miraculous save. This turn of events led to a penalty shootout, where Martinez once again displayed his brilliance by saving another penalty, ultimately securing the World Cup victory for his country. A World Cup that, according to FIFA itself, settled the GOAT debate. But the accolades didn't end there. Lionel Messi claimed the World Cup player of the tournament, the best award, and his eighth Ballon d'Or, solidifying his GOAT status. On the other hand, Martinez earned the World Cup Golden Gloves, the FIFA Best Goalkeeper Award, and the prestigious Yashin Trophy. 
Regardless of one's allegiance, it's evident that Martinez played a pivotal role in Argentina's World Cup triumph, alongside Messi, and without his exceptional contributions, the victory wouldn't have been possible. So there we have it. As it turns out, the butterfly was Brighton appointing Graham Potter as their manager in 2018, and the tornado was Lionel Messi finally winning the World Cup in 2022. Skeptics may argue that there have been a few logical leaps taken in this video, and that you can't prove that something entirely unrelated few years earlier had any bearing on events in the Luzale Stadium. But you can't prove they didn't either, can you?